What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Minute Channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite games of all time and that is Persona 3. Now with their resurgence of Persona uh, since Persona 5 Royal came out, I noticed a lot of people are actually picking up the previous games, which good for you, props for you, I'm happy that you are doing that. Uh, and I noticed that some people have come to me and asked me for some tips, for some questions and so on. So this is a video for you guys, this is a, a couple of tips that I will give you as, as you're starting the game, seeing that Persona 5, um, Persona 3 3 has some similarities, uh, there are some things that may bring up, but are some things that are completely different in this case, so let's go ahead and check it out. So, in Persona 3, uh, one of the biggest uh, points in the game is obviously your interactions with all these other characters that you do, the social links. In Persona 5, that is the, the confidence. So in, in this sense, uh, the confidence are a little bit different, they work in a much more rudimentary way, they don't do additional stuff or anything like that, but there are still many stories that you like to go do it and everything like that it still buffs up your personas and everything so it is important that you do those um, but what it is is also you can work around the, uh, that schedule because some of them only appear at night some of them only appear during the day so it is important that you check your calendar and you find out when they will meet because they'll only tell you one time and never again would you know when they uh, are gonna show up and so make sure that you when you listen to them don't just skip the dialogue because you may miss the fact that they only hang out on Saturdays and Wednesdays and then you're looking at them the rest of the week and you can never find these people so it's important that you check that out. So, uh, moving up uh, my team tip number two, um, it is very important that uh, you know in other all on the other games when you go into the dungeons you just go whenever you know when, whenever you grind whenever and you can do things at your own pace persona 3 it does not work like that persona 3 has a stamina meter which doesn't actually show you the stamina but the characters will have these conversations about when they're tired or whether they're not uh, feeling it anymore when that happens the uh, couple things can happen when they are tired uh, they are more susceptible to actually getting critical hits and getting getting actually dead faster so it is important when they're tired you can actually just leave Tartarus for the day and that's it so um, it's important that you rest as well it's, it's super important so a couple tips for running this so how can you go around this tiredness if you go and keep on going tired for a while you'll actually get sick sick actually makes you even worse state and you can in some cases you cannot even do some activities like studying or doing uh, hanging out with something confidence and so on so it's important that you actually rest now in, if you don't need to rest if you don't want to rest the other case and which is max recommendation for you is to go into the infirmary in uh, the school if you go there you not only do you recover from that but you actually gain courage because the medicine that gives you is so awful and you need some courage in order for you to drink it so um, speaking of social stats and everything uh, drinking that will definitely buff up your courage from actually that and you don't lose any part of your day so you can still go do your activities and everything like that now the end of the day um, you can go to sleep and everything and then the next day you're completely recovered and good to go now how to avoid the tiredness syndrome when you're tired and when they are tired um, the characters will get tired over time either from walking and grinding for too long or from dying in some cases when you they, when they died and in battle and you revive them after the battle they will say that they are tired so two things you can avoid for them one don't stay for too long on Tartarus or wait until they are tired and then you can leave or two on the last day before the full moon uh, you actually have unlimited time no doesn't matter how tired they are you can they can continue until you are done because Tardus because the the full moon uh, in tar in Tardus and in Persona 3 is super important in uh, every full moon something happens with the story something important so uh, you need to get out to the specific spot of the um, dungeon on Tardus by that point so it's important that you always go and grind and you always go to a specific spot unless until you can go any further than that so that being said it is important that you uh, 
uh, go a day before so you can rescue some people. In this game, uh, when people go miss people go missing and they accidentally go into Tartarus, it is important that you go there and look for these people because some of them may be your social links and if you go not don't rescue them in time, they will die and they will be permanent permanently dead in the story. That means that you can no longer continue their social links. So importantly, go visit uh, Tartarus and actually rescue the people that they are they have gone missing because again they may be some of the social links and they may die and you may not be able to see them again uh, so um, tip number four in this case uh, social stats I actually mentioned that earlier there's a couple different ways to increase your social stats unlike other games there's millions of activities there's only so many activities in this case um, the island that you're in is much smaller than Tokyo obviously uh, but so but my number one tip will be to go into the arcade the arcade increases your whatever stat is we can be at random actually because sometimes there's different games to play but the play games that you will have to play will be either quiz game that will increase your actual um, uh, academics or intelligence in this case uh, the um, the picture game will uh, increase your charm and the third one is going to be the horror uh, scare game which is going to increase your chorus so all three of them do different things so important that you go through all three of them that way you can increase your three stats that you have now in this case you have a really long uh, list and everything so it's important to know and to note you can only increase your social links or it's even start them until you are already fully on that for example example Mitsuru will require you to be a genius which is the top level of academics before you can actually start her confidant. Uh, Yukari will uh, only start you confident once you are completely charming at 100% and uh, Fuka will require you to be a badass uh, meaning a full uh, on chorus at 100% so it's important that you get those pretty quickly starting in the story that way you get some time to actually start their confidence because sometimes you will be in November December and you're still not smart enough for Mitsuru so importantly waste your uh, no waste your time there are certain things you can do and everything so going back to Tardos because I want to talk about this a little bit more and your everyday to day life um, uh, some people actually do the turtles pretty often I don't I'll usually will go once or twice go, run, go all the way up and then go all the way down and so on and that's it again I give you some tips for tiredness so keep those in mind as you go through this um, so if you use those tips you can definitely balance your time in Tartarus more focus on the everyday activities because again you only have so much time and if you're wasting your time going to Tartarus too often then you may not be able to finish all your confidence on time or you may not be able to do certain activities you want to do sometimes uh, it's important that you actually read the text that is in red everything that is in red means something important either to the story or to the actual uh, plot in the different characters that you meet for example they will tell you they'll be out for a couple days and you look for them on, on their spot where they usually hang out and they're not there and why are they not there well they told you they were gonna be out for the weekend or whatever so importantly you mess, uh, you go with those now some important aspects as well some confidence will only trigger in particular scenarios for example uh, there is a confident that uh, if you join a team and you actually go to the uh, to the training and everything, you will participate on in a specific uh, competition. This guy that you meet in the competition will only be triggered if you actually started the club activity with sports. If you don't start activity with the sports, you're never going to trigger the other confidence. So oh, some confidence are connected to each other. Um, you'll actually get three different confidence from the club activities. Um, there are different activities you can do. Uh, there are actually three different clubs that you can join at the same time home economics which will give you a specific uh, confidant you, it will require you some intelligence to, for you to actually read the paper on the, on that so that's one uh, the other club is the photography club or the art club or uh, one of those clubs you can choose one of those and you'll have the same kind and then you have the other confidant which is gonna be the sports uh, club uh, whether it's swimming or kendo or basketball all of them will give you the same person Person, but the story is exactly the same it's just a different scenario as far as which sport you want to do or which 
uh, club you want to join particularly three all three of those clubs are a must because all three of them will start confidence and are important to the story and everything uh, so that's pretty much you know that I have here there's a bunch of other stuff that I could go on and on about uh, main themes that are just things that come to mind and everything but let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about Persona 3 I'm definitely very open to commenting below and I'll give you any tips if you need anything but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this if you're new please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you guys next time